One of the things we see again is that we know that women are more emotive. They are more able to express their emotions, whereas men tend to revert to type. They tend to say, well, I'm the male. I'm going to look after things. I'm going to do the things I need to to keep the ship steady. I'm going to do the administrative stuff related to death. I'm going to look after family. I'm going to arrange the funeral. I'm going to uh, make sure everyone else is around. It's part of who we are, part of our DNA to try to support but actually what we fail to recognize sometimes is you can't drink from an empty cup you can't um you can't drink you can't pour from an empty cup even as well you can't help other people if you're not in a situation to help yourself and i think when you go through something so powerful as a death of someone you care about someone who you love that's a huge thing that we have to recognize that we need support too, that we need help too. And I appreciate that there are elements of a partnership here. You know, you may want to take on the lead and help and do the organization bits. But I think there's an element where we say, now I need that help. Now I can take a step back and say, well, look, I'm also part of this equation. I'm also here. And for me to be functioning and to be supportive long term, I need to help to cope and, and to deal with this grief. And I think one thing we always do is we forget the long term picture. We say, well, you know, I'm fine. I'm fine now and I'll just keep being fine and I'll keep putting it off. Forgetting that at some point it catches up with you, just like everything in health. If you don't uh, regularly exercise, if you smoke, if you do whatever, we know that for the first few years you'll be fine, maybe. But after a while, it catches up with you. And mental health is the same. We can't keep suppressing it. And I think the uh, the resources that we've created are on the Southeast uh, Leadership Academy, particularly around bereavement and, and complex grief, because this is complex grief, is a wealth of opportunity. If you've lost someone during this pandemic, if you've lost someone even before the pandemic and you've been holding that loss and that grief down and you've been trying to cope, well, now is the opportunity to say, I can focus on myself. I can use these resources that are free and are accessible to get the help that I need to, to, to deal with. It. And it's not necessarily saying, gosh, this is a, a mental health problem. This is a, an issue that means that I've got a long term element. These are significant life events um, that when they impact us, they really do impact us and, and can affect us for years if we don't cope with it and deal with it early on.